What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are reviewing the brand new record breaker card, Fabregas. This card has had a huge upgrade by the way and he is going for 148,000 coins. So he should play like, you know, how much he is obviously worth. The upgrade has got a plus 37 to pace if we are comparing him to his gold card. We don't see a plus 37 very often. Let me just tell you that right now. He's got a plus 12 to dribbling, a plus 15 to shooting, a plus 11 to defending, a plus 17 to physical, and a plus 13 to passing, which means he's obviously going to be absolutely unbelievable at passing that ball. Now, he is a 5 foot 10 player, which is actually not too bad. Medium low work rates. That tells me straight up, if you are playing him in that cam position, he is not going to be a very aggressive cam. He's probably going to be a cam that helps you out a lot, no matter where the ball is. For example, if you're running down the wing, he'll help you move well he'll move over to obviously help you if you're using the striker with the ball he'll obviously support you somehow some way maybe with a run or maybe just by coming short but that just straight up tells me he's also not a cdm because low defensive work rates in a cdm position is just not going to work out for me three star skill moves three star weak foot obviously for me personally, I do prefer like a four star slash five star skiller in that cam position simply because if I get into the opportunity that they do make a run, I can obviously pull out an unexpected skill move and obviously catch my opponent off guard. But with him having three star skill moves, that is going to be a little bit of an issue. The three star weak foot shouldn't be too bad passing wise, but for shooting is not going to be great. Let's all be fair. Now, the best chem style for him, I feel like is a hunter. If you guys feel like he is not amazing on the ball, and if I feel like he's not amazing on the ball, I might actually switch it up to a finisher chem style and just say screw the pace. Because I feel like a person that has medium light, medium low sorry, work rates is not going to need much pace. And I do feel like 95 acceleration and 85 sprint speed is a little bit of an overkill when it comes down to Fabregas. But we're going to see how it goes. Obviously, if I don't like it, I'll switch it to like a finisher or even an engine. He's got 95 acceleration and 85 sprint speed. So pace, he's got shooting ability. He's got 88 attacking positioning, 97, sorry, 97, 87 finishing and 91 shot power. Does he have any shooting traits? He does not. I was expecting at least a finish shot trait, but it is what it is. He's also got 86 long shots 98 volleys and 99 penalties when it comes down to passing we all know he's going to be an absolute beast at it 94 short passing with 94 long passing he's also got the 99 vision the 86 crossing the 92 freaky accuracy and the 91 curve dribbling ability as i said agility is you know a bit low 81 he's also got 89 balance 85 reactions 85 89 ball control sorry 86 dribbling and 92 composure I feel like it's actually worth saying his defensive stats because it's not actually too bad. But once again, the medium low work rates are probably going to only work in like a center mid position and not a CDM position. So if you're trying to play this guy in like a 4-4-2, he should, he should kind of work there because 66 standard tackling, 76 defensive awareness is not actually too bad, especially with those other stats. Now, if we're talking about physicals, he's got 84 stamina, which means... He should last like the whole 90 minutes, especially with those work rates. He shouldn't be doing like a ton on the pitch. He's got 72 strength, which is actually not too bad. And he's also got 65 aggression. Now, when it comes down to links, I have gone for Bamba, uh, Fati, Thiago and Isco. We've also got like so Rodrigo, Bellerin and Thiago Silva in this team. I will be using Fabregas in a 4-4-2, playing him in a centre mid position just to see obviously how he is there. But I will try him in a 4-2-3-1 as well in that cam position. But let's get into the games. So we are going to check how he feels on the ball. Hopefully he doesn't actually feel too bad. And he doesn't feel too bad, to be fair to him. He doesn't feel amazing. That's something I can say without a doubt. But he does not feel bad on the ball. Now, would I feel like he would feel better if I put an engine chem style or even like a finisher chem style? Most likely. Isco. Over to Fabregas. Fake shot. Going to go for that turn. Going to go for that finesse shot. And it was not a great finesse shot at all. With these kind of long shots, I was expecting it to hit top bins. But it's kind of understandable why it didn't. Because he does not have that finesse shot trait. I feel like he's a very protective player. Where he kind of uses his body to kind of get in the way of defenders. More than anything if he's under pressure. But that's a good ball. Bamba. To Fabregas. Oh, one dribbling, really nice dribbling. Take it calm, go towards that near post. And I feel like I have screwed up a little bit. I should have probably took it a bit more calm and just went for a finesse shot because I feel like that would have actually gone in. Fabregas on the ball. 
gonna ball roll and I'm gonna go for the switcher play because knowing how good his passing ability is, I'm gonna expect him to do that. So I'm playing in the 4 2 3 run right now, and as you clearly can see, Fabregas is actually being really, really aggressive, and that's kind of a surprise because I would have thought I'm gonna take that shot by the way. He's shooting animations, I'm noticing. Can we get a finish? Yeah, we can. But I'm noticing the shooting animations with that finish shot is very, very slow to the point where it's gonna take him a very long time, and most likely it is gonna get blocked. But as you clearly can see, few step overs into the angle and we are actually going to score our first goal with that three-star weak foot look at him making runs in behind boys oh my god so he's actually a very aggressive cam no way of hit cross by there I was about to say, if I don't get that finish, that's literally a wide open opportunity. To be fair, I could have actually sweated it if, you know, I actually opened my eyes. But it is what it is. I feel like Fabregas should have finished that without a doubt. But he's a very aggressive cam. And that's kind of surprising because medium low work rate and he's still very aggressive. That's kind of questionable a little bit. Mendy to Fabregas. Good touch. R1 dribbling. Go for that finesse shot at a very, very decent angle. And it is actually going to go in. Now, if I had to explain what the keeper's animation was, trust me, I would have no words. But it actually hitting post and in is pretty decent. And it was a good distance as well. Bamba. Fabregas. Little pass there. Give it back to him. R1 dribbling. A few step overs. He's brought out the keeper. Why has he brought out the keeper? I went for a random shot and his balance just came into the play. All of a sudden, he's falling over while taking the shot. I kind of panicked there a little bit. I don't even know why this guy brought out the keeper. But yeah, it, it worked well, to be fair. Fabregas. It's a little cheeky over the top through ball. It is going to be a perfect pass. Hit it on over to Rodrigo. Take a touch. Go for that cross goal finish. And his touch was not good enough. That's so disappointing. But Fabregas has done obviously really well to intercept the ball back. I'm going to attempt to make that run in behind. Yeah. Can he get there? Please get there. There you go. Good pace. I feel like if he didn't have a Hunter Kim style there, he would not get that ball. Trust me. Fabregas. First time pass. That is a perfect pass. I want to see his movement here. Do you see him running into the open space just there? Have I took a big... Oh, my God. I was focusing on his run, and I did not focus on the player bringing out the keeper. That was such an easy goal as well. Fabregas. Little one two. That's a perfect one two. I should not over top of the ball, but it doesn't matter. Fake shot. Take it into the inside. Go for that finish shot. The keeper doesn't even move. And we go for that cheeky top bin finish. I'm telling you guys right now, his finesse shot trait, not finesse shot trait, sorry, finesse shot outside the box is actually pretty decent without the trait, which is pretty surprising because I've tried players with like very high long shots without the finesse shot trait, and it does not go in. But for some reason, Fabregas's shots are actually going in at a, di a decent distance as well. Let's send him on a run. I'm going to RB wide this. I want to see. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you, boys. It was very assisted. I'm going to go for a chip because I knew he was going to bring out the keeper. He's been bringing out the keeper pretty much the whole game to the point where I just have to go for this cheeky chip. But do you see how good that pass was? It was literally spot on. It had a perfect pace on it, perfect distance, and it didn't go out of bounds. It just allowed Fatty to obviously run onto it. Thiago to Fabregas. Play that ball. Rodrigo, give it back to Fabregas. Ah, oh, what I thought, right, was... He was going to think I was going to shoot with Rodrigo. I had Fabregas pretty much wide open with his great attacking positioning. And I would have just gone for a wide open sweat. But apparently it did not turn out like that. Fabregas. Nice shielding. That's something I'm noticing, by the way. His shielding is actually pretty good. It's not amazing, obviously. As you clearly can see, Varane kind of got round him. But it's actually pretty decent. So if you are under pressure, you can obviously hold that L2 or LT. Isco. All the way through. Fabregas, that's a nice run. Gonna go for that cross goal finish. I'm very, very awkward because I don't know why he decided he wanted to hit that with a stronger foot. Like, his freestyle weak foot is not terrible. Now, do I feel like if he hit that with his freestyle weak foot, would have it got saved? Most likely because, you know, Pope coming out, especially with how big Pope is, I feel like he covers obviously a lot of the, you know, a lot of the space you can actually shoot into and it would have most likely got saved. So it's kind of smart by Fabregas to actually hit it with the stronger foot there. Going to switch the play. There's a perfect ball. Once again, I'm telling you boys, his passing is so, so good. Like you literally can do anything you want and I have so much confidence in his passing ability. Little Ronaldo chop, ball roll, a few step overs, nice footwork. Oh my god, boys. I tried a ball roll and it tried a burp spin. What am I seeing? Fabregas. He's making a run in behind, to be fair to him. I'm going to actually go all the way up. 
Fabregas is most likely going to support me. He has made that good run. Does he cut back? He does cut back. Rodrigo, oh, Fabregas consistently making that movement going forward, but he did not make that movement kind of going backwards, which is obviously going to be annoying. And that is where I can say, if you like a passive cam, Fabregas is not your kind of guy. Trust me, he's making runs like there's no tomorrow. So we have got free kick here now, and let's see if Fabregas can step up to the plate and slot it home. How many yards out? It is 23 yards out, which means it's pretty decent to be fair. 92 free kick accuracy with that 91 shot power. Now, it's going to be very hard to get past Pope in goal, obviously, especially while he's moving the keeper. Now, with people that move the keeper, I tend to do this, and let's see what happens. Hopefully, he doesn't know about the tactic. He hasn't picked up. I'm going to have a wide open opportunity. I'm going to go for that cross goal finish, and it is going to hit crossbar. Fabregas on the ball. Nice R1 dribble. Ball roll. Going to go for that finesse shot. It's going to go straight into the back of the net, boys. I am telling you, I've never seen a player like this that does not have the finesse shot trait be this consistent with these long shots. Like, finesse shots especially. He hasn't got the finesse shot trait. And he's still putting them straight into the back of the net. Play that ball. There you go. Fatty. Going to cut back. Fabregas has made an unbelievable run. Touch, finish with that high high volleys and he, t he is going to hit it into the back of the net. Boys, I have no words. As you can see, I'm literally st like stuttering. I'm just so confused because medium low work rates for me personally has never ever been this aggressive. But the fact that Fabregas is consistently making those runs in behind and they're good runs, that's the thing. He's finding himself in open spaces is absolutely amazing. So it is time to review in three games played, six goals scored with the one assist as well. Now, without a doubt, says Fabregas, he's a really, really good player, right? But do I feel like he is going to be a player that could take you to the next level from going gold one to elite three? No. I feel like he's going to be a card that is going to help you out going forward with his movement, with his passing ability and stuff like that. But I don't feel like he's going to be a card that really fits into a team with, I don't know, Mbappe, Ronaldo, Neymar, if you know what I mean. Either way, do I feel like he is worth 148k? Mm, I kind of feel like he does, but I feel like he won't stay at that price. I feel like he'll be a card that will probably go for around 80k, 90k. You could even argue 100k, but he won't stay at 100k for a very, very long time. Now, him being 5 for 10, I didn't have an issue with that at all. The medium low work rate was a bit of a surprise for me personally because my experience with medium low in a cam position has been way different to what I've seen today. I've seen a player that is making those consistent runs in behind, a player that's going to be very aggressive, a player that makes runs when he wants and... He does it at good times as well. So it's not one of those ones where he just runs offside, stays offside, and you know, you're not going to see him ever again in the whole attack. No, he's a player that could make the run, instantly comes back on side, and then realizes that he needs to give you a passing option. So medium low work rate in that cam position was not bad on Fabregas at all. Now, do I feel like it's good in the centre mid position? No. He, I was pretty much playing with one centre mid the whole game. Me knowing how aggressive he was in the cam position, I was expecting the exact same in the centre mid position, and that's what we saw. The three star skill moves are three star weak foot. I personally go for four star slash five star skill moves in that cam position because I know they will make that running behind like he did, and I want to pull out an unexpected skill move to, you know, kind of catch off my opponent off guard. But with Fabregas, I had to do the R1 dribbling and I had to do a few step overs, which is still very, very good. It's just not why I wanted. The three star weak foot though wasn't terrible for like passing and it wasn't actually terrible for shooting but it wasn't top tier at the same time pace i definitely did see his pace come into play in a few occasions and i really really did enjoy it so for pace i'll give him like a an 8.2 out of 10 shooting ability love these long shots like look at the long shots 86 common now you know i was gonna take a lot uh, you know a lot of long shots with him saying that it is 86 i was like why not at the end of the day and it was just going in after in after in after in i was like okay I'll take it. But either way, shooting ability. When it comes down to inside the box, I definitely will say it's very inconsistent at some stages. So for shooting, I am going to give him, I would say, an 8.1 out of 10. Passing ability. Without a doubt, I can give his passing ability a 9.7 out of 10. The reason I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is simply because I have seen better. 
I have played with better when it comes down to passing, aka that David Silver card. That David Silver card, my God, was he good for passing. So, you know, I kind of have to keep it on a respectable level. So I'll give it a 9.7 out of 10. Dribbling ability. He felt good on the ball. He just didn't feel insane. He felt very, very usable on the ball. That's something I can say. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I will say like a an 8.3 out of 10. I, re I did enjoy how comfortable he felt on the ball, how his ball control came into play, how his composure came into play. There was no panicking at all but if we're talking about him just doing his twist and turns i definitely do advise you using that r1 dribble to just kind of get angles with him but physicals i am going to give his physicals i would honestly say like a a 7.8 slash 8 out of 10. The reason I'm giving him that high is because I did see strength come into play. I did see aggression come into play. And I definitely saw the stamina last about the whole 90 minutes in that cam position. So that is why I'm going to give it that rating. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give him... I would say a 7.9 out of 10. As I said, he's a good player without a doubt, but he's not a player that can take you to the next to the next level. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace. Thank you.